Good morning, one and all. It's Chad here at Chalk Springs Trout Fishery. It's at the end of January, uh, 23rd, I believe. Um, had two hour drive to get here and had a few delays. So I'm a little bit later than opening hours. It's about half eight. Got a four fish ticket and I've got my wibbly wibbly sunray glass rod that I run um, in a competition a couple of years back. Um, it's only seven and a half foot four weight. Um, so it's possible it might not be able to get the fly deep enough but I think if I can catch some fish on this today it's going to be a lot of fun as you see there I've got a pheasant tail nymph of a red head for spotting fish so let's give it a go and see what happens folks god it is frosty this morning a bit slippery underfoot um yeah well welcome as always here um it's just uh I'm going to turn the camera on look at that mist coming off the water lovely absolutely lovely Just saying the uh, light's not quite there yet, guys. I'm just taking a walk up, um, I think it might be West Lake by the road. It could be East Lake. It's a sign. East Lake. So the majority of uh, South Lake's frozen, but over here, up this end, under the tree, we do have some on the we have some fishable water. Don't really say up there, it's completely frozen. So this is the only little bit fishable here. So I think I'm struggling a little bit to get deep enough with this little glass rod. Might have to extend the leader. That's in fact, guys, I'm going to extend, try something a bit different. Sludgy, sludgy, sludgy. Never seen the water here as high as this, but I have only ever fished here in the summer. Oh, yuck. Serves me right. I've got boots in the car. I could have put them on. A little one there. I'm not going to target anything about two, three pound like an LP. I want to be over three pounds as my target weight, but ultimately the fish will always have the last say. So let's, um, it's nice and high over here. You get a really good viewpoint. Yeah. Let's try again. Here he comes, here he comes. There we go, kiss him. Oh, and again, kiss him. <laughs> I've got a hook on this thing. There we go. <laughs> uh, that was, that's great. He must have gone for that, literally. Um, probably about 10 times. So I just want to get on the just want to get on the scoreboards, guys. Really. Oh, there we go. Look at that go. Little glass rod. I hope you, I I don't know. If I got that on camera. That was really cool, though. <laughs> um, you literally did go for that a multitude of times. one but it's a nice size lovely clean fish as well let's see we can come there he's in there he's in well, actually that's quite chunky that's and it's come out in the net that look how clean that fish is about three pounds i'd say lovely well you can tell we're fishing in the winter folks 
my rod rings are freezing. It's obviously killing the cast a little bit. Whew. Down on the first lake as you come in, spot a nice rainbow. So it's just get my get my gator bug out there. Oh, perfect, but really, really spooky. I can only assume it's because they've been targeted so much. Whoa, this is proper precarious. Visibility here is very good. Very, very good. It's a nice one doing the rounds here. It's got a lot of suicidal rainbows on it. Ooh. Standard size rainbow. Oh, and the uh, oh, mate, it's going well, this isn't it? Then my reels come off. There we go, we're on. We're on. <laughs> I was, uh, I've seen a few nice fish swim backs and forwards. Um, I just think I need to give it an extra hour to the sun changes. And I think I'm going to go and get my sage. Because um, I've, as fun as it is playing a fish on this, it's uh, cost me a couple of fish today, a couple of opportunities. Or not, we're in. There you go. Right, dudes, I've kind of got my sage, so I'm on a floating nine bio gold, and I've decided to go with uh, pink bloodworm. I'm finishing the rest of my breakfast, my banana and walnut bread, which uh, we do in the slow cooker overnight. Night, so it's ready for the morning. Keeps the plums nourished on his fishing trip. Just look at that, guys. Absolutely wonderful to be out today. Beautiful weather. We've had weeks and weeks and weeks of torrential rain and wind. And it's just like a spring day today absolutely great to be out no. daddy long legs now guys it's about midday um, I'm just trying to track down a slightly better quality fish if I can just say it comes one swimming round he's charging it like that. <laughs> nice. Good old daddy long legs. So I can probably. Oh man, I've got to, got to go past the ice fields to get my net. So I'm going to slowly. It's not a monster fish, but it's a nice fish. And most welcome around lunchtime. So, fully milled daddy long legs. Look at this, what I've got to go over it. Still on. Right, try not to stack it. Whee! <laughs> I 
not even paying attention to playing the fish. I'm just trying not to die on the ice. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay, that's better. Actually, that's quite. That's not a bad fish. It's um. He literally charged across the lake for that. So, here on my sage R8. Ooh. Let's just quickly. There we go. In he comes. There we go. Another cracking fish. So, just chilling, enjoying, enjoying being out, guys. The weather was horrendous uh, through most of January. We had 40 mile an hour winds and you know floods and rain everywhere. It's just uh, nice and calm. It's nice being out in the water. So uh, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this, and I'm going to try and get that last fish. I'm going to spend a little bit of time pottering around and uh, seeing if I can get one of the big ones to take. But each of the lakes that aren't frozen, I've got, I've seen at least two double trout in each lake today um, and I'm informed there might even be three in each lake but they're certainly not up for chasing today um, a little bit challenging but uh, it's called a fishing not catching folks and uh, if you went there and filled your bag in an hour it would certainly not be a day out would it so um, I'm just enjoying being out here I've had free fish chilling gonna try a suspender buzzer because nothing else really Seems to be working, but this could be something a little bit different. Needs to be a little bit more to the right. Plunk, come on. That'd be so cool if you had nabbed that. Come on, it's a buzzer. You know you want a buzzer. Or you could just ignore me as well. Right, guys, so at the moment I've got my suspended buzzer on. Obviously, it's this horrible stage now where the frost starts to melt and everything gets squelchy. <laughs> but, um, just chilling out and uh, enjoying myself, dudes. Be nice to get one off the top, though, wouldn't it? Winter. But, um, it's also getting to the point I think these fishes, fish have had lots of lines over them today. Trying. Oh, he's thinking. Oh, they were so close. <laughs> Nipped it. An exploratory nip. There we go. Slightly bigger one. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, I almost got a trout on the... Uh, don't consider it, Mr. Moorhams, in a bit of my take. I said I almost got um, a trout on the dry fly a couple of times and suspend a buzzer, but uh, January, couldn't quite manage it. It would have been cool if I had finished off my last trout for the day, but uh, see, guys, that looks the absolute business in the water. It's from Fast Mail Tackle. It's called a kick-ass damsel, and it's one of the patterns that... Um, I rely on more and more in still waters. It's uh, got those dangly antenna there. It's an absolutely awesome pattern. I was uh, just checking my phone and uh, that's what happened. <laughs> my line just started tailing off. No problem. I'm starting to kick ass down, so. Let's 
sprightly little fish. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go, Mr. Fishy. In we go. No problem. Whatsoever. Well, that was a self-catching trout there. Does that count? <laughs> well, fill my ticket, guys. Oh, I've got about a two-hour drive home. So, um, no complaints. All the best, I uh, hope you enjoyed the action. Dudes, I've got uh, four rainbows there, um, majority around three pound or so, so really good sport today. There you go, dudes, that is four fish all around the three pound mark. Quite happy with that. I did try for some bigger fish, but uh, they weren't interested in taking my fly today. Um, one of the four lakes was frozen over, but in the three that were not frozen over, I saw at least a couple of fish in each lake which were above or around the 10 pound mark and some bigger fish as well um, but for today i just stuck and uh, got with a, a three pound fish just because that was what i was able to temper my fly um, i did spend sort of three hours trying for the bigger ones but uh, it wasn't to be today i almost almost got my last fish on the dry fly in january um, he spat it I, I lifted into it that little bit too soon but uh, sailor v you know um, that's why it's called fishing not catching Great day sport, guys. Great to be out there. Much better weather. Um, a little bit precarious underfoot today with some frost and everything, but uh, I had a really good day. I can't say I didn't. Um, I probably should have just fished with my sage rather than trying to mess around with a short-term glass rod. You know, I think I might have uh, had more of a chance of the bigger fish, you know, early on in the morning before they had lots of lines over them. But it was fun. So uh, what the hell? I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, I had a great day. Um, Arundel, Chalk Springs, really, really recommend it, guys. And uh, there's definitely a bigger stamp of fishing here as well than there were a few uh, a few years ago. So if you guys want to do a bit of stalking and bump into that maybe ten pound trout, then uh, Chalk Springs got you covered. Uh, great sport. Take it easy, dudes. See you later.